Welcome back to FoxBusiness.com Live. I love when we talk to entrepreneurs, business owners. That's all that matters because clearly the government is going to continue to screw things up. Really? All right, so the Dow's up 40 points right now, and people are out there making money and doing good at the same time. Roberta McDonald is with us right now, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Cabot Creamery. Now, before we talk about the co-op, yes, Cabot sir. Creamery yes. has been around forever. 1919. Making just cheese. Just cheese. And butter. And butter. And Greek yogurt now. Anything cream. Oh, really? Yeah. We got there pretty soon in the trend, so it's been great for the business. You know, we've been talking about Vermont this week a little bit, and you think of pretty much cheese and syrup and snow, I guess, when you think of Vermont. When I moved to Vermont, and it's been 25 years ago now, I can tell you I did surveys in Manhattan, and people only knew that we made maple syrup. Now, 25 year, years later, they know about the cheddar cheese. Yeah, why? What happened? Well, because Cabot did such a good job. But i got to tell you something funny. Our big cheese is a Rutgers Ph.D., so when I found that out about you, I thought, oh, it's breeding good people. Uh, my little Rutgers grad degree. All right. Jersey. We'll have to, maybe we're going to have to bring them back, though, someday. We need good people in Jersey these days. <laughs> First of all, how is the cheese business? Because milk, butter, these, uh, I mean, the price of commo the commodities that go into cheese is getting higher and higher by the second. It is from a from your point of view as yeah. a buyer, right? Yeah. The farmer's side of that equation, though, is still pretty modest. Uh, they haven't seen raises in a couple decades. But because our farmers have the brass to own a brand, they are going to see the profits from our sales. And our sales are doing really well. Not good. Yeah, yeah. Why then do I see it go up? That's the retailers calling what the pricing is. Or... Some of the national brands will buy the pricing down with features and the like. Uh, we don't tend to be able to do that very often at Cabot. Really? Yeah. What's your best selling cheese? This, the plaid one, the seriously, seriously sharp. sharp. Yes. Still. It's, totally. Uh, but the funny thing about this is it started as Hunter's cheddar cheese. Uh, we sold ends and trim to Hunter's that came through Cabot, Vermont. Uh, we had it in this black and red plaid but we called it Hunter's. When we took it to Florida, the people go, what is that? Um, we don't hunt in black and red, we hunt in camo. So we had to change the name. Little known fact. Interesting. <laughs> I love stories like that. All right, now let's talk about the cooperative. So you, the Cabot Creamery Cooperative is basically a bunch of different creameries. 1,200 farm families. Right. That's, okay, so if you call a creamery, we call where we make the cheese a creamery too. Okay, so that's not, the right, that's not the right it's term. Okay. Okay. Throughout New York and New England. So these farm families all get together in this cooperative, right. and what do they do? They ship milk uh, along patterns that have to do with milk pricing, so we won't go into that. But collectively, they own the company, they own the brand, so at the end of the year, their 26th check, 25th check would be the profits from the sale of the cheese. So they all benefit. It's based on the amount of milk they ship. So it's kind of like you're all in together. We are all in together. And it's the, the cooperative model. You know it's the uh, International Year of the Cooperative, according to the United Nations. I did Seriously. not. Yes. I like the notion of a cooperative. I actually got introduced to it when my children what were little. What do you little. think it means? Well, it just this notion that we're all, we're all in it together. We all profit at the end of the day based on whatever you put in, right? Exactly. Not very many people know what a cooperative. They think it's like a commie plot or a no. socialist takeover. Seriously. No, but, and the reason, again, I even have a clue is my, cha my children's nursery school when I was a kid was a cooperative. Perfect. That's yes. a great example. Right here in Manhattan, middle class people can actually live in this city because of housing cooperatives. So that they, all, they, they only sell within the cooperative so that the price isn't going up with the market. It's, it's what keeps Manhattan and most of the apartments here affordable for the average it's person. It's an interesting notion, right? And why, why do you think like we went away from it for a while? Because it, it was, as you said, it was taboo for a while to say you were part well, of a cooperative. Well, well, you just said it, though. Imagine if all the members, you take a credit union, and they're a great example of a cooperative business model as well. What a lot of people want either the management or the board or the stockholders, you've got some real ability with stock to retain earnings and say grow new markets. In a cooperative, we allocate all our earnings every year to our members. So it's not the fastest way to grow a business as a business model, but it, for us, it's the most secure. Right, and you're all in. Correct, I all like in. That. Okay, now you also have this Rewar Reward Volunteers app yeah, too. Yeah, that's pretty exciting for Valentine's, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. so you launched it on February 14th. Tell yes. us about it. We have had a history when we 
we have really not a lot of ad money per se, but when we go into communities where we sell our products, we get involved with the volunteer organizations there, whether it's uh, the, the hospital, uh, the food banks, etc. And we find that most of the people, the volunteers in those organizations, are really the heart of the community. So we've been honoring volunteers for probably 15, 20 years. What we also realized, though, especially working with, say, AARP most recently, or Points of Light, is uh, there's an organization called, right here in New York, New York Cares. It's probably one of the largest um, places people yep. can volunteer. But So all these people come in, and most volunteers are pretty humble people, but there's no way to track their hours. And the reason we developed this app was so that everywhere in the country, volunteers could log their time, it would post on Facebook, and we're going to give them awards every month. Uh, our partners are Marriott, AARP, Points of Light, uh, the Credit Unions Association, and all the cooperative businesses. So you being the cooperative mm -hmm. are going to give rewards out to people who just decide to volunteer. Well, correct. And they will be vetted, you know, and we are actually going to give um, awards, cash rewards. This concludes on July 7th, the first stage of this app. July 7th, where we'll be awarding big cash prizes to individuals, to the organizations they serve. We've got competitions already going with the Southern New Jersey Food Bank between the Food Bank and D.C., whose volunteers can log the most hours. Um, we've got competition going among credit unions, among their the credit union employees and the members, who's do, they all are doing different things in different communities. Why do this? It's what makes our heart pound. Um, our farmers, in fact, our volunteers, they are the ones on the school board. They're the ones that are coaching Little League. They know what community means, and they know the difference volunteers make. It's honoring our farmer owners. Do you know what's interesting, I find? It's that the less you have, the more you give. Isn't uh, Why is such that? Such a uh, What made you observe that? Because the less I had, the more I gave. <laughs> Seriously. Well, and you find that, the, you know, you're helping each other. You know, someone gets sick, we all make dinner for the week. And Exactly. Okay. But then it disappears when people start to have money and they get busy. I don't know what it is. I, I, I actually just kind of dawned on me the other day just exactly what you're saying, that, in fact, the more you have, the less you give in a funny way. Unless yeah. you have a whole lot. Now, think of our major philanthropists right. in the country, right? We, we recognize the Gates Foundation, et cetera, et cetera. They give millions. We can only give time, and that's, right. and that's what we do. And that time should be accounted for somehow. Imagine when we're, be, we're able just to apply, say, minimum wage, the hours that are logged in the next five months. Imagine what that amount is. See, so you have this whole giving economy, if you will, that from our point of view, it's our farmer's daily life. Let's start documenting it for the rest of America. I think it's amazing. You know, when I got uh, divorced, my mom came to me and said, I don't have money to help you, but I have Aww. time. But I have time. Right. So I could do what I, I can, you know, help I could give kids, you time. Right, right, right. right. And that's what she does. And, and it's amazing because it's almost more valuable than the money, right? I totally believe it's sort of like time in life. I believe time with people you love and things you love doing is exactly why we're here. I think we should talk about this stuff more. <laughs> I really do. Bless so I think we should Tracy. come back. I, I think it's I awesome. Totally it's, enjoy it's a feel good thing. All right, so what, what happens at, in July when it ends? We're going, it, this is the final weekend. Globally, the world is celebrating co ops on that particular weekend. And we are going to make our big announcements. Uh, Marriott will be giving a cash prize to the organization that's had the most volunteers. AARP, Create the Good, will be giving a cash prize. Points of Light, uh, Cabot Creamery, we're all going to celebrate. Now, meanwhile, remember, every month, we will be doing random drawings among those that have the most likes. How do we Facebook. get the app? Rewardvolunteers.coop or .com. Or? Mm -hmm. Okay, rewardvolunteers.coop or .com. I see it. Okay. And you probably can go to Cabot Creamery to find it, too. Yeah, it's a magnet on our refrigerator. Oh, excellent. <laughs> you got to come back and tell us who won what. I, w I can't wait, Tracy, because I think some of the stories already coming out that are being reported on Facebook make your heart start pounding. I'm really proud of what the farmers have done Yeah, with you this. know what? It makes you believe in America again, too, that people well, help each other. Well, Stephen Kiernan has written a great book, Authentic Patriotism, and that's entirely what it's about. The solutions are not going to come from government. Mm -mm. Um, we can't expect a party to start... Uh, coping with our ills. The people are doing it on their own and we're going to recognize yeah, it. Yeah, and you know, you can argue that money, uh, m money makes things bad sometimes. Well, yeah. Makes people see things funny. It's, if you think of time as faith and 
hope um, and you can give it to somebody, imagine how good you feel. Now, the one issue sometimes for people is they don't want any spotlight Agreed. on them, right? Right? Agreed. So we're asking them to abandon that humility and do it so they inspire others. And that's what this is about. It's awesome. Thanks, Tracy. Roberta McDonald, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Cabot Creamery. Check out the uh, app at Reward Volunteers. No, yes, rewardvolunteers.coop or .com. Right, and our farmers, thank you for even uh, talking about our cheese for you. Are you I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank Seriously you. sharp, man. <laughs> the Dow's up 40 points. Have an awesome weekend.